Uzbekistan is currently focusing on sustainable development of its protected areas. A recent conference addressed challenges outlined in roadmap and discussed projects for this development. It was emphasized that the country's network of protected are now cover over 6 million hectares. During the conference, it was stated that Uzbekistan's nature is very diverse. The world of rare plants and animals is easily harmed by human activities and climate changes. Therefore, nature reserves, parks and sanctuaries play an important role in protecting the country's flora and fauna. These protected areas create a connected ecological system, ensuring a variety of life and keeping the environment in balance. Uzbekistan has a wide network of these protected areas, covering many different environments and ecosystems. In the past two years, Uzbekistan established eight national nature parks, two private reserves and one state reserve. According to 2019-2028 decision of the government on biodiversity conservation strategy, the goal was to protect 12% of the land, but we surpassed that by achieving a 14% increase. In recent years alone, one state reserve, ten natural parks, two state sanctuaries and one state biosphere reserve and one nature monument have been established in Uzbekistan. The conference highlighted key tasks for improvement, including radically enhancing the management system of protected areas through modern digital technologies. In addition, during the session, leaders of organizations and environmental scientists presented successful projects and examples of sustainability. We had a chance to talk with the documentalist. He stated the importance of the documentaries to mitigate the environmental challenges. If they don't understand a situation is happening, if they're not aware of, of the implications of a phenomenon, you know, they, they don't know how to act. They may say, oh, that's nice, and go on and cook their dinner anymore. But when you tell the story, you, and you make it relatable to somebody, and you can impact their emotions, and you can say, oh my God, I get it, you know, we are brothers in this, you know, or, you know, the, 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 the Marco Polo sheep is, is also my brother. You know, when, when you can relate that message, you can get them to care and express empathy for the environment. It incites people to act. He also added that the remote communities that live in mountains and arid areas can come up with the relevant solutions to the climate crisis in Uzbekistan.